Hi and welcome to Diving Head First. Uh, as you, some of you may have noticed, I took the month of January off um, for personal health reasons um, and I didn't really make an announcement about it unless you follow me on Facebook. Um, I've just, I've had to adapt my workspace to m uh, my new situation because I now have psoriatic arthritis and so my workspace used to be my floor but I can't use my floor anymore because it's hard for me to get up and down from it um, anymore so I needed to get need to figure out a new workspace of I have a new desk and I have a new shooting setup if you follow me on Instagram you could you so you could see the picture of my new setup that I'm currently working on and tweaking um but it's under a process and it's I'm on medication and it's starting to get a bit better but it takes about four months for the medication to be in full effect so still working on that um, and then I also, I know that I, like in the past month, I've gotten like 50 new subscribers, I think mostly from Home and Garden from Your Mortals, so welcome everybody who's new. Sorry, I haven't been posting since you joined. Um, I will be posting as much as I can. I don't know if I'll be able to pick up, keep up my old schedule of posting every single Wednesday, but I'm going to try. But it's just sometimes I have bad weeks and it's just physically not possible and it's not really... Uh, worth it for me to push myself too far um, and cause permanent joint damage um, and just exhaust myself too much uh, but I'm back in the swing of things I am working on new videos um, if you were missing videos I or if you don't realize that I have been making videos for Home and Garden from Your Immortals, I have I make one video a month there, so you could check those out. Um, I will be post trying to post as much as I can, so hopefully it will be every Wednesday, but I can't promise. Um, I will try my best. Also, I forgot to mention, I've recently switched up my Patreon. I don't actually have any patrons right now, but I would love it if you guys would like to join. Uh, if you like these videos that I make and you want to s help me make more, you can support me on Patreon. And now it's a monthly subscription, so really you could even just do $1 a month. It would be a great help to help me fund supplies for these projects, and the more funds I have to make them, the more fun and elaborate things I can do. And just to get back into s to figure out this new rig and to figure out my new workspace. I did a really simple project this week of making a paper file desk organizer thing. Uh, you see these in the store all the time, but I needed one and I didn't feel like paying for one when you could make one out of a cereal box. So sorry if I go out of frame sometimes in this. I'm still figuring that out as I'm working, uh, adjusting to this and yeah, so let's dive in. The supplies you will need for this project are a cereal box, a ruler, a marker or a pen, and a scissor or some kind of utility blade to cut the box with. Uh, that's the bare minimum, but if you want to also cover up the box once you're done, you have paper or tape, I use tape, it's whatever you have on hand and you want to cover it with. So some of this will vary depending on the size of box that you have because there are different size cereal boxes and also what do you want to store in this file. You're going to have to decide on two measurements for depending on your own personal use and preference. I am putting this into a certain size bookcase so my high end of this file is going to be 10 inches and then my low end is going to be 5 inches. Once you have your measurements drawn out on either side, then take your ruler and draw your diagonal line from the high end to the low end. Once you have everything marked out, then you could just cut along your markings. I actually cut this originally so that I would have the end be closed, the lower end be closed, but then later on I realized that I needed to cut the end open because my paper is wider than this box. But again, you would have to you would just stop here if you don't want to have the end open on yours. Once you have your box cut to the size and shape that you want, now you can cover it. I ended up covering mine with tape because that was what I had on hand in colors that I wanted it to be.
I hope you found this video handy and if you did hit that thumbs up button or leave me a comment below. If you made one of these, let me know and hit me up on social media. You can find links to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. See you guys later. Bye!